600 years after Christ died, when Europe was sunk in the Dark Ages and everywhere the old civilizations were falling, Muhammad was born in Mecca in Arabia. Mecca was then a rich trading city ruled by its merchants, whose wealth was multiplied by a unique privilege. They housed the gods. Every year, at the time of the great fair, the desert priests brought their idols and the images of their gods into the custody of the Kaaba. Once the most holy shrine of Abraham, the Kaaba had now become a house of idolatry, boasting no fewer than 360 different gods. Mecca in 610 AD. <laughs> Today's calendar, my young. Not yet. But this year, the gods are gold. And when you put the gods and prophet together, you sit very pretty between. Hmm? <laughs> and more gods to place in the Kaaba. Caravan from Syria. Hmm. They must have been running. They'll be thirsty. Put five more men on the North Wells. How many sheep shall I have to kill for them? Seventy? Give them a hundred. Mecca must keep her name for hospitality. And ten lambs for the leaders. <laughs> Bread and water do the poets have in Hakim's house, where verse and prose are nightly put to slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the bread, I swear, in there is thinner than the water. <laughs> oh, open a space, open a space, you lovers of poetry, to Busopian, willing and uh, rich, patron of the arts. When Busopian invites the poet in, there joy is kith and love is kin. Where wines and cakes abound, the skills of verse are found. All revels and all songs begin when Busafian invites the poet in. From the silkworms of China, my lady. Pleasure to the limbs, and as my lady can see, a ravish to the eye. Yes, seven lengths. Twenty dinar. Abu Sofyan's wife. Fifteen. of the Kaaba have their needs, their upkeeps. Who is that man who stood there, who looked into my soul? 
carry me away from here. Why must Mohammed come down here? Why don't you stop him? He's your nephew. Maybe he'll change. Change? He's 40 years old. It's unnatural. With a rich wife, he could afford the best of Mecca. Yet he chooses to sit shivering in a cave. It is unnatural. For a man who dares to risk the anger of al who keeps our health, Manat, the god of our prosperity, Alat, the god of our family and tribes, and Hubal, Hubal, who starts our caravans and predicts our fate. To challenge the gods within earshot of the gods is dangerous. Unreasonable. Rebellious. Blasphemous. Yes. I'm afraid Muhammad will harm himself. I'm always sad when the great fair is over. I might not see the next one. Abu Talib! Abu Talib! Catch your breath, Zaid. Has Mohammed come down from Mount Hera yet? He's been out there three days. No. No, we haven't seen him. Khadija hoped he might have come to you on his way home. Then he's still up there. Three days. I'm afraid for him on the mountain, because I don't know what it means. Men see the world too well from a mountain. Mohammed, read. In the name of thy Lord, who created man from a sensitive drop of blood, who teaches man what he knows not, read. still trembling under the blanket. But he has spoken. Zaid, what happened to my nephew on the mountain? He was alone in the cave. Suddenly, an angel came into him. The angel said, read. Muhammad replied, I cannot read. The angel commanded again, read in the name of thy Lord, who created man from a sensitive drop of blood, who teaches man what he knows not, read. Who knows if it was Gabriel? It could have been a dream. When Muhammad was coming from the mountain, he saw Gabriel plainly in the shape of a man standing on the horizon. Wherever he looked, upon every turn of his head he saw him. And Gabriel said to him again, I am Gabriel. And you, Muhammad, 
are the messenger of God. Who is he told about this? His wife. And Ali. And his friend, Abu Bakr. And you. I am his adopted son. Be careful to whom you talk. Tell him his uncle, who protected him when he was a child, will protect him still. After all, they say the God of Moses spoke to him out of a burning bush. If you do not restrain your nephew, then we will. He's dividing the city, hut against house. He's dividing the generations, child against parent. The young are listening to him. He attracts the young. We are Arabs. We obey our fathers. Our children cannot be our teachers. How can we accept that a man we met in the street yesterday can be some God's prophet today? Dead bones can live again, he says. Because he who created man can also make man return from the dead, he says. <laughs> The gods might leave us and give their benefits to another city. Tell him we will give him authority, position, the keys to the Kaaba, and money, what money he wants. Tell him we will give him anything he wants. Mohammed, spare yourself and me. Do not put a greater burden on an old man than he can bear. In your childhood, you were in my arms. I cannot now see you hurt. If you refuse them, they will hurt you. He said this to me. Were they to put the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left, I would not renounce my message, which is from God.